APD is not releasing the identity of the suspect, but they do tell us he is a repeat offender with a lengthy criminal history. Now, this is becoming such a big problem that DEA officials say that in Arizona in the last few months have seen over 30 deaths because of this drug. That we were going to stay with you until 10 o'clock because the mass ascension got off to a, a later start this morning, about an hour and a half later. And, you know, now it seems like a lot of people are packing up, ready to go. This construction project is already causing a headache for so many drivers. Take a look. You can see a long line of cars on this one lane road here at Central. Just about two hours ago, we learned the Senate Intelligence Committee has denied former National Security Advisor Mike Flynn's request for immunity to testify on claims of Russian hacking. Scoping out the competition. I know I still have some work to do. Tragedy at 30,000 feet. An American Airlines pilot dies after having a medical episode in the final stages of landing into the sun port. The pit bull owner saw the whole thing happen. So it's not your dog's fault? No, no. I don't think it's my dog's fault. No way, Jose. The owner of Gandhi Wellness Center has said there have been several times when she's walked out and her own customers have walked out to see homeless people using this area right here as her bathroom. The question is, is this satisfying? Our ability to go Tough to professors, school. exams, skyrocketing tuition, no money, and hectic social lives. Colleges across America are teeming with overworked, anxious, and stressed out students. UNM is no different. It could get pretty stressful. Those are a few reasons why health experts are seeing an explosion in the abuse of Xanax on campus. It kind of makes them feel chill or sedated, and uh, that appears to be the appeal of it. Xanax belongs to a class of drugs called benzodiazepines. Street names for the pill include Zannies, Bennies, and even footballs. Doctors are concerned students are taking them at parties together with heavy drinking. I know people who have, and I've, uh, you know, they haven't been explicit in detail, but I, I have some idea what's going on. Yeah. yeah, but that's that's crazy. I think it makes them have a little bit more fun at a party and maybe also just trying to deal with the everyday kind of problems that they have to deal with. This, this pill uh, can seem like a solution. Executive Director of UNM Student Health and Counseling, Dr. James Wilterding, says there have been a couple of students who had to seek care for Xanax abuse. We became aware recently that one of our students who had formed uh, a dependence on that drug um, had the misperception that prescription drugs are safer than illegal drugs. Dr. Wilterding says there is a 12% misuse rate of drugs among college-age individuals. You've probably heard of stimulant abuse on campus. We're talking about drugs like Ritalin, but closely behind are opioids and benzodiazepines like Xanax. They're all very accessible. You can probably walk out on the street, an individual can, and buy it on a street corner. And there's an underlying problem here in Albuquerque. I've been practicing addiction medicine here for multiple years, and I consistently see a certain percentage of patients that are prescribed extremely high doses of benzodiazepines, most commonly Xanax and to a less extent Clonopin. Dr. Christian Shaw with Duke City Recovery Toolbox says there's a ring of health providers in the metro who hand out scripts for these pills as if they were candy. So what you have is a twofold problem. You have um, irresponsible clinicians prescribing this medication at very high levels which is dangerous. Secondarily, it's prescribed so readily that it's not only used by the individual it's prescribed for, but it's illegally diverted into the street. So that that's why UNM officials are trying to get ahead of it by alerting students the consequences can be deadly. To discontinue use can cause um, seizures and even death, and it's almost more dangerous than using the drug. Uh, once you become dependent on it, getting off of it is very difficult. So how is the school addressing this problem? Dr. Wilterding says they're using social media, reaching out to student groups and organizations to tell them about the dangers of Xanax. Doctor's best advice, don't start. I'm Colton Schoen, KOB Eyewitness News 4. It's a cold winter night in Gallup. The temperature is 13 degrees, but it's not uncommon for it to drop well below zero during the coldest part of the season. But Miles James spends hours out in the frigid temperatures four nights a week scouring the no man's land areas of the small city. I found a guy right here 
not too long ago, like two weeks. Uh, I was around this time. It wasn't as cold though. Looking for people who have passed out after having a few too many to drink with no place to sleep. Uh, if they drink too much, like, like they don't feel the cold. Right. Like they think they're a lot warmer than they actually are. He's one of several Gallup community service aides on ditch patrol so. detail. Seven people have died out here in the last few months. Some of them froze to death. Some died of alcohol poisoning. But the cold contributed to all the deaths. Last winter, it was 17 people. Where we're going to now is a, is a big arroyo not too far and where they found a couple uh, exposures not too long ago. But How long does it take for someone to freeze to death in that sort of environment? About 30, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Doesn't take long, especially if you've been drinking. The city is 23 miles from the Arizona state line and has a population of about 20,000. A state representative who serves this area claims on the weekends that number could jump to 90,000 people. Some come to the city from up to 120 miles away. Many are from the Navajo Nation and Zuni Pueblo. Officials say the sad truth is a lot of them are coming into the city to drink because alcohol can't be bought on the res. Are the majority of those who die in those exposure deaths Native Americans? Yes, yes, no question. I think right now I would say that last year and, and these, this year are probably 100% Native American. Jazz, behind your back, dude. Okay, behind your back. The community's response to this ugly problem? The Nana Juhi Center, also known as NCI. NCI shelter detox so was primarily for intoxicated people to pick up. The detox center was launched in 1992 in response to the public drunkenness problem. For nearly 25 years, the feds and state officials also helped keep it running along with the Navajo Nation. Well, it's a community problem. It's a surrounding government problem. It's, a, it's an issue that uh, maybe the health services could help us with. It's not, a, it's not a simple answer. It's not a simple solution. The NCI is a place where community service aides and police can drop people off to sober up and sleep for the night so they don't end up passing out in the open areas. But funding has dried up over the years. It's been a constant battle to keep it open and provide the bare minimum in treatments. Funding for the center is set to run out at the end of this month but the cold will likely last through March and into April. If you had 15 people die in a major metro city across our country, in America it'd be an epidemic. Let's get this car going. But over the decades, officials say at least 100 people have died. This man's cousin froze to death in the ditches on Christmas Eve. Uh, he came out and then he just wanted to go home and that's what he was doing. And on the way home, he just, he just froze. Gallup police and the CSAs say their ditch patrolling saves lives, which is why James continues to do this work. Who else is going to look for these people besides us? Within the city limits, no one looks for them but us. But as the sun comes up over this western New Mexico city, some people see it as a chance to start over. I've been sober for about maybe almost a year now. Keep it one day at a time and keep positive attitude. You just saw the problem Gallup has literally been dealing with for decades. Now that detox center could close before winter is even over. In part two of our series that airs tonight, I'm going to show you what short term solutions are there so no one else will die this year. Also, the long term solution that can be dealt with in a way that works for everybody. Colton Schoen, KOB Eyewitness. They say there's nothing stronger than a mother's love. He's a real good baby. He's our miracle child. Baby Robert came into this world two weeks ago. He was 6 pounds, 14 ounces, 20 inches long. It was the high point of Nicole Atencio's life. He's born healthy. But baby Robert might not have ever made it into this world if Nicole hadn't hit the bottom of the deep, dark pit of drug addiction five months ago. We were parked on the side of the road, huh? and um, honestly, I just remember bits and pieces of that day. Strung out on heroin, Nicole was sobbing, getting in and out of the car. A concerned person called 911 
And that's when Deputy Jacob Trujillo showed up and arrested her. The low points. He had to have been having sense. She was taken to the hospital to get checked out after the arrest. And that's when she got the news that would change her life forever. She was pregnant. At a crossroads, Nicole knew what had to be done. They both decided to get clean for the sake of their unborn child. A choice that could have been too late if it hadn't been for the arresting deputy and the compassion he showed them. We were really determined. And after we started getting the help um, and saw how strong we were at it and how good we were doing, we just took it day by day. The deputy who arrested her would check on them often, always caring and supportive. He came by later and he had a box of diapers, a box of wipes, a blanket, two stuffed animals and an outfit and told us he was so proud of us and that we're doing so good and really went out of his way to make sure we followed through with everything. All right, so you know what I have in my hand here? I've got the $400 paid for. Here you go. Thank you. All right, Officer Trujillo should be here very soon. Yes. Deputy Trujillo's boss was in on the surprise, telling him the couple and their newborn needed to see him right away. Hi. Hi, Officer Hello. Trujillo. Hello. Hi. How's it going? <laughs> How are you? Hey, we're by Channel 4. Hi, Hi nice, nice to show. see you. Yeah, nice to see you too. Well, we just got done speaking with uh, Nicole Atencio here. And how you helped her basically save her baby's life and help them get their lives together. I know they got you here under false pretenses, <laughs> but right. uh, they nominated you for our Pay It Forward program, and I'll let Nicole kind of explain to you what's going to happen and why she nominated you for this. Awesome, all right. You helped save our lives, our baby's life, our, get our families back. You have no idea how much you have done for not just us, but so many of people in our family. and. We just wanted to give a little back to you, and you won. Nice. And here's four hundred dollars from the Pay It Forward program, and here's a card from our family. Bring it. Home. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, you guys, so much. you guys, this is all on you guys, and you guys keep raising your baby and doing doing everything the right way, and you guys, you guys are gonna lead a good, happy life together as a good family. Okay. And you got to give them all the credit for it in the world for it. It's it's something that's that's hard to break, and a lot of people can't break. But in this case, you know, they're, they're a strong, strong group of people here and they did it for all the right reasons. Trujillo says he wants to stay part of this family. As for the recovery, they're going strong. Once I seen his face, I mean, that's what, that, there was a switch that turned on and I right away went to being a dad. And every day gets easier. We are more than that, that we can do good and we're here for better things. And the best things like baby Robert. Colton Schoen, KOB Eyewitness News 4.